So our topic for today is about sex determination. You already know that once the egg of the female gets fertilized by the sperm of the male, they result to form a zygote. So this is a fertilization. So ang nangyayari lang dyan, nag attach yung head ng sperm, natatanggal yung kanyang tail, and then the head of the sperm secretes uh, the nucleus to be attached to the nucleus of the egg cell. Now, uh, this zygote, it is the first cell of a new life, and this cell, it contains the content of both the male and female cell. This zygote will now divide over and over again, zygote to embryo to fetus to have a baby. But while dividing or while developing, how does this zygote know that if it is going to be a baby boy or a baby girl? What tells the zygote what it is exactly going to make? So we are going to determine the sex in humans. As you already know, the complete information of a cell is stored in the thread-like structure, which are the chromosomes and the nucleus. So the chromosomes determine everything that is happening in our body, and the chromosomes contain or compose of coils of DNA. So the zygote contains chromosome from the mother and father through the sperm and egg. So in all humans, maybe a male or a female, they all contain 23 pairs of chromosomes. Now out of these 23 pairs of chromosomes, there is one pair that is said to be the set of sex chromosomes. The pair of chromosomes contain two chromosomes which are denoted by X and Y. So males have two chromosomes which is X and Y and females have two chromosomes which is X and X. Now, the sperm and the ovum, or the egg cell, contain only one set of chromosomes. What does it mean? Consider a situation where there is 23 pairs of chromosomes of male and female. They directly pass to the sperm and egg during fertilization. What will happen? So, these pairs of 23 chromosomes will both fuse together to make a zygote, which will now have 46 pairs. So, what does it mean? 46 pairs meaning 92 chromosomes. So, that is not possible because it is said that each human uh, got to have only 23 pairs of chromosomes. So, for this reason, meiosis is applied for the egg and sperm to have haploid number of chromosomes. So for the past lesson, we already discussed about mitosis and meiosis, and meiosis only happens for the sex cells. Okay, so for the 46 normal body chromosome, it is divided into two, which is haploid in number. So there will be two daughter cells of the sperm cell and two daughter cell of the egg cell. So it will have 23 pairs of or 23 chromosomes rather. So in this 23 chromosomes, one is said to be a sex chromosome. So 22 yung autosome, autosomal chromosome natin. Autosomal meaning it is the body chromosome or the body cells well, the last pair will be for the sex cell. But then, in this scenario or in this case, so the sex 
chromosome is divided also into two, meaning for the XY, it will be divided into two. One is for X and one is for Y. So for the first sperm cell, we have here 22 plus X. And for the second sperm, we have 22 plus Y, meaning the chromosomes were separated. Well, for the female, since we have here X and X for the sex chromosome of the female, so it is also separated into two. We have 22 plus X and another 22 plus X. So again, one sperm will either have an X chromosome or a Y chromosome, while the female egg contains X and X only. In a situation where the fertilization takes place, if a sperm contains an X chromosome and unite with an X cell, which has also an X chromosome, so it will result to an X and an X chromosome, which means it is a female. But if a sperm contains Y chromosome and unite with an X cell, which also has an X chromosome. So it will result to an X and Y chromosome, which is a pair of a male child. Okay, so this sums up, traditionally the mother was blamed to always give birth to a baby girl. Uh, but in fact, this sums up that the father's chromosome or the male is responsible for the sex determination of the child because the sperm cell dictates whether it is going to be an X paired to be uh, paired to an X also or a Y that is that will be paired to an X. Okay, so that is for the sex determination in humans. While other species also have sex determination by the genes. We have here for the birds. So for birds, it is different because the female carries different set of chromosomes. They have Z and W. And the male have both chromosomes or have the same set of chromosomes which is Z and Z. So, it depends on the mother, the sex of the child. Next is for ants, bees, and wasps. So, the ants, the queen ant, and small group of male reproductives. So, the queen ant stores the sperm from the male reproductive. So, ang ginagawa niya, ni store lang na yung sperm kasi hindi muna niya yung ginagamit. So, kakaiba yung sa ants, bees, and wasps. Kung gusto nung queen uh, na maging babae, yung kanyang child or yung baby ant, so, ang gagawin niya is lalagyan niya ng sperm cell nung lalaking ant. Pero, kapag ang gusto niya is male, she lays an egg without fertilizing it. So, hindi siya naglalagay ng sperm cell kung gusto niya ay lalaki. So, ang tawag dito ay haplodiploid system or haplodiploid system. So, all male ants has no father. Okay? Because it depends on the queen ant, queen bee or the queen of wasp whether she will put a sperm cell doon sa zygo. Okay? So, lahat lang ng pinapanganak ng queen na walang sperm ay male. Pero pag nilagyan niya ng sperm at penultilas niya yung egg niya, nagiging female. So, kakaiba sila. Next is determined by environment. So, we have here alligators and turtles. So, they determine their sex through temperature. 
So, when the egg is laid, the sex is not yet determined. So, doon sa nest na ginawa ng alligator at saka ng turtle, kung saan nila nilagay yung eggs nila, it depends on the temperature. Uh, meron silang tinatawag na critical time for it to determine uh, the temperature. So, for about 15 days, ayun yung critical time nila. So, kapag warm yung temperature ng egg, it is a female. Pero kapag cool yung temperature ng egg, it is a male. So, in this case, uh, the sex determination is determined by the environment, specifically uh, temperature. Okay, next one is about uh, the clownfishes. So, clownfishes all started as male. However, as they mature, they become female. So, sila, kaiba din naman sila. And they also have this dominance hierarchy. So, ano naman yung dominance hierarchy? So, there is a dominant female and dominant male. Sila lang yung nagre-reproduce. Pero kapag namatay yung dominant female, ang nangyayari is pinapalitan siya ng dominant male. So, the dominant male replaces the female that died to become a female. Kasi nga, they can alter their sex. And then, what will happen? So, namatay si dominant female, pinalta ng dominant male, siya naman yung magiging babae. And then, dun sa ilalim ng hierarchy, o yung sa mga nasasakupan nila, uh, the other male will move up in the hierarchy. So, tataas naman yung isang uh, male para siya naman yung papalit doon sa pwesto. Ayan. Okay. Next is about the whiptail lizards. So, whiptail lizards can, all, can only be found in deserts. So, ito kakaiba naman sila because they have no male species. Okay? Whiptail lizards are all female. Next is green spoonworm. So, this green spoonworm can be found in the ocean. Uh, they live in the seafloor. So, how do they, they determine the sex? So, their larva where it falls in the seafloor, kapag nalaglag yung larva sa seafloor, sa open seafloor, kapag open seafloor, yun ay female. Pero kapag yung larva ay nagland doon sa female, ang sex na niya is male. Okay? So, again, in green spoon worm, nadedetermine yung sex niya kapag siya ay nalalaglag na sa seafloor. Okay, kapag nalaglag sa open sea floor, that is female. And kapag naman nag-land yung larva sa isang female, so yun ay male. Ayan, so that, again, that is the green spoon worm. Okay, but now let's go back to uh, sex de determination in humans. Okay, so al nalaman nyo kanina na yung sex is na determine or dependent dun sa father. Okay? Because it carries the X and the Y chromosome. In the Y chromosome, we have what we call the sex determining region Y or the SRY gene. So, the SRY gene is very important kapag uh, yun din yung tinatawag na master switch. Okay? Kapag na-on yung SRY or na-activate yung sex determining region Y, it is also considered as the testis determining factor. Okay? So, of course, the testis determining factor, it develops uh, the testis of the male. And the testis produces two hormones. The sertoli, yung sertoli, tinatawag siyang antimolarian hormone. So, ano naman yung antimolarian hormone? The antimolarian hormone, uh, blocks the Mullerian ducts to develop. Okay? It avoids the Mullerian ducts to develop. Ano yung Mullerian ducts? Mullerian ducts develop the female structure. 
So, kapag hindi uh, na-activate yung sertol, mas mag-dominant yung female structure. While the testis also produces the Leydig cells. So, the Leydig cells develop the Wolfian ducts. Okay, kung yung Sertoli is it blocks the female structure, the Leydig develops the Wolfian ducts. Ano naman yung dinedevelop niya? Of course, the internal male structure. So, ano ba yung nasa mga internal male structures? Yung seminal vesicles, ejaculatory ducts, and the ductus deferens. Again, uh, the internal male structures like seminal vesicles, ejaculatory ducts, and ductus deferens. Okay. So, what if the SRY gene fails to switch or to activate? What will happen? Okay. If the SRY or the sex determining region Y if the Sertoli fails, there will be a genotypic male but phenotypic female. Okay, again, by genotypic, ibig sabihin yung kanyang genotypic composition or yung genes niya, SX and Y, pang male. Pero yung na-develop sa kanya is ano, yung sa female structure. Kasi hindi gumana yung Sertoli. Again, the Sertoli is uh, anti-molar yan hormone okay, the anti-molar yan hormone next, if the SRY kapag naman yung Leydig fails there will be a, a male but not fully developed external genitals okay so, kapag yung Leydig naman, male pa rin siya Male din yung genitals niya, pero hindi lang fully developed. Next, we have what we call the XX male syndrome. Phenotypically male, but looks like... Ayan. Phenotypically male siya. Looks like a boy, pero yung gene niya is XX. Okay, anong nangyari naman dito? Hindi totally na-activate si SRY gene. So, si SRY gene mas na dominant yung ang nangyari na convert na siya into X kasi hindi na activate si Y okay yung SRY so XX male syndrome phenotypic phenotypically male but genotypically female next is the uh, Swire syndrome in Swire syndrome so we have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Ito naman, genotypically male, but uh, phenotypically female. So, Swire syndrome, ang nangyayari dito, ay yung parang nasa una, yung nag-fail yung Sertoli. Kasi, they look like a girl. Okay? That is Swire syndrome. The genotypic is X and Y, but then, phenotypically female sila. Okay, so that is for uh, ito yung mga Y-link syndrome. And that is for sex determination. For the next uh, activity, so I want uh, Kabuho Carreras and Sipaba. Tatlo. Wala ko ng tatlo. Kabuho, Carreras, and Makalam. Ayan. Kabuho, Carreras, and Makalam. You will search for the X-link syndrome. Kasi itong mga diniscuss ko is Y-link syndrome. So, mga problema siya sa Y region. Ang kailangan nyo naman i-present sa amin next Thursday, next Thursday pa naman, okay, will be the x link syndrome. So, kung pinanood nyo itong video na to, dapat alam nila kung sino yung mga magre-report next meeting. As a group yun, Kabuho, Carreras, and Mahalang.